ladies and gentlemen, now, now, now is the time to permanently preserve your iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak for your iPhone 4, your iPod Touch, G4, your iPad, etc. You need to do this. If you're on iOS 5.0.1, you're good. But what you need to do is you need to save your SHSH blobs, and it's probably best to just go ahead and stitch the blobs to an IPSW for 5.0.1 so you have an all-encompassing firmware file that you can always downgrade to so that you can maintain your iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak. So what you need to do is open up Tiny Umbrella, make sure your settings look exactly like this, point your SHSH directory to your desktop, make sure you request SHSH from Cydia is unchecked. This will only work until Apple stops signing the 5.0.1 firmware. So connect and select your device and click save SHSH. Then you'll notice the 5.0.1 SHSH blob on your desktop. It'll probably save your 5.1 beta firmware. You can just delete that, you don't need it. Open up Red Snow, select extras, go to SHSH blobs and click stitch. And then you wanna select your IPSW. You wanna locate the firmware for 5.0.1. So you will need to download the firmware if you don't have it. Select the firmware for 5.0.1 for your device and then Go ahead and click local and then select your SHSH blob that you just saved with Tiny Umbrella. What this is doing is creating a combined file that merges your SHSH blob with the firmware file for a permanently, you can always go back to this particular firmware 5.0.1 and of course you can always perform an untethered jailbreak on that with red snow now if you have an iphone 4s what i recommend you do for the time being is just save your shsh blobs using tiny umbrella just like the method we did and save off of a copy of the firmware file and just hold that in a safe place for now you can't create a stitch blob just yet until a boot rom level exploit is found and that has been found obviously and that jailbreak should be out in the very near future so i hope this was able to help you guys make sure you do this make sure you update all of your ios devices that are not a5 devices that means every device besides the iphone 4s and the ipad 2 make sure you update them to 5.0.1 now while there's still a chance save your shsh blobs create stitch firmware that way you can always downgrade and perform an untethered jailbreak even when apple stops signing 5.0.1 and they release new firmware let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this is jeff with iDownloadBlog.